Hello there everyone, Quinn Giddy here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with another chit chat about The Sims. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Tiger Sanctuary in For Rent and how it sucks. I'm gonna tell you how I think they can fix it and how you in your game can get real tigers if you really wanted to play with some gameplay. Now, I just recently went to the Tiger Sanctuary for the first time in game in my For Rent Let's Play. I'm not gonna shout out that Let's Play because I know that not everybody is a big Let's Play person, so I'm not gonna say go watch it, especially for the Tiger Sanctuary. But if you're interested in seeing it and you haven't, I did release an episode titled Tiger Sanctuary, and it's awful. It is so bad. The Tiger Sanctuary is honestly such a shame of what could have been in the game. Um, I don't know The Sims' logic recently if they're like, well, we can't dedicate time and effort and money, whatever it may be, to putting out a full-fledged idea. So let's give them nothing instead of giving them something. Like, let's give them a rabbit hole instead of giving them anything at all. And to me, I don't think that that is the solution. I think there are so many other ways to go about you know, putting in a tiger sanctuary. I understand that there's lore. I understand that it's like, you know, they have statues all around Tom Arong about the the great mother and this tiger and this just whole, all this lore, this entire storyline. And then you actually go to the tiger sanctuary and it's like one interaction per visit and sometimes it's nothing at all you don't get anything back there's no picture like nothing it's really so bad it's probably my least favorite thing they have ever done in the game solely because of how cool it could be and in my opinion how simple it can be to implement something like that now before i get into how i think they sh could do it if you wanted to have tigers in your game there are plenty of tigers on the gallery if you just look up sim like tiger on the gallery you'll find a list of people who have made their own tigers whether that be with a cat or a dog um, i believe this one over here is a dog and there's a few others that you can find on the gallery placed on a household with a few of those tigers make one sim like the you know sanctuary worker and she'll just or she or she will just own the house and you can just go to their house and visit the tigers and pet the tigers make them live in like a really cool temple or something similar to the tiger sanctuary or gate off just like make it an outdoor space that is honestly the simplest way that you can make a visitable tiger sanctuary if you wanted to make it like maybe a park or something i don't know that you could make you can't make someone live on a park but if you wanted to make it a residential rental and have like part rental space and part like public outdoor tiger exhibit you could do that as well or you could make a park next to the tiger sanctuary and put a few food stands there and maybe there's some like tiger statues and maybe um some playgrounds for the kids i feel like that is how it should or could have happened simply for those of you that are really interested in putting it into your game. Um, but in terms of how it can actually be added to the game, I don't really think that it would be that hard. I think that the Sims team could use the exact same like skins slash textures of cats and dogs that they have. Like people are recreating them amazingly without being a developer. So I'm sure that the Sims team can do it well. They don't we don't have to own them. We don't have to control them. You know, even if they, in the very simplest form, allowed you to like go to a viewing platform and you can see them at a distance just running by. Like they have cars running throughout the neighborhood. Now they have tuk-tuks running throughout Tamarong. And they have a bunch of random fake people in, in San Myshuno. Why can't they just have a few tigers running in the back route? They literally gave us like go girl give us nothing they literally gave us nothing when it came to this tiger sanctuary and they could have done the simplest thing with like animating a tiger in the background of the tiger sanctuary or modeling the tigers off of the same kind of uh character whatever modeling that they do for cats and dogs like a tiger is literally a big cat I don't, I don't 
understand why they didn't give us anything. How I think it should have worked. Now that is like how they could have done it in their simplest form. How I think it should have worked is I think it should have been a lot that you can absolutely visit, right? You go into it, even if you had to like go through a few quests before you could actually visit it, kind of like the caves in, um, in Willow Creek or the tree in Willow Creek in the cave in Oasis Springs, like before you go to those secret worlds that they have, you have to like succeed in the quests like even if that was a thing that you had to do that would be one thing but i think that it should be like an uneditable lot same way that the high school or the hospital or the police station or even like those worlds like six or whatever those ones are that are in willow creek and oasis springs that you travel to or like the top of the mountain in mount komorebi like this distant lot that is uneditable that is only editable in you know, with with cheats, even if they disabled that, just an uneditable lot that your sim can travel to that isn't accessible on the map. Like you click on the Tiger Sanctuary from the map and you go to what it is in the game currently and then you can go travel beyond if you succeed in those quests. You go there and then it's just a very, it's, it's a temple. It's very simple, you know, inside of a temple or, what, or whatever, however they want to style it. There's a bunch of people in the gallery who have successfully created beautiful temples and they made them in Jungle Adventure, so we know they know how to like design a temple. Obviously, different uh, cultural backgrounds, but they could they would succeed. I know they would succeed in making like a Southeast Asian temple. Uh, you go there, and there's like a viewing platform. There could be a fence. Your sim can go click on the fence, and it could be like view the tigers, or feed the tigers, or sightsee for tigers. And even if your sim is just standing there. At least it would be something to do instead of clicking on the temple and they're going poof and you get a little pop-up. It's such unriveting, boring gameplay that, they, that we were given that I feel like they could have made this. And maybe there's a reason they didn't. Maybe it was in the cards and they had to scrap it and that's one thing. But I'm just saying like as a player of the game who loves The Sims and has been playing forever, these are like some ideas. You know, I, I, I come across angry but I also come across frustrated because I wish I was like I wish I could do it myself you know I wish I could be in the room with the sims team on their creative team saying this is what we should do so like I I've been making these idea videos for years I haven't done them in a long time but I just love sitting and talking about my ideas and that is that's all I'm doing just want to make that clear that is all I'm doing I'm just talking about my ideas I'm not saying it's like I have been saying it's easy but I know it's not easy but it's just like to me coming up with the idea is easy and maybe the sims team has these ideas and they just can't put them into fruition but anyways you get to this tiger sanctuary you can click on the fence you could watch if tigers come by they come by if they don't they don't it'd be so much more fun to at least have somewhere to go and say that you did it rather than your sim disappearing into a rabbit hole and they don't see anything you know that's that's what i feel and then if you see a tiger in the distance maybe your sim cheers maybe they like tap someone on the shoulder and be like oh my god look at the tigers they can teach their kids about the tigers maybe there's like somebody working there that you can learn about the tigers from maybe there's a stall where you can buy t-shirts and the little plushies and maybe you can donate to purchase a tiger and then maybe you can go back continuously to see your tiger like i think that would be really fun um maybe there's a food stand where you can grab some food and there's a place to sit and eat um or maybe there's not maybe this is just a very quiet peaceful it's a sanctuary it's a tiger sanctuary so obviously it's not supposed to be anything crazy you know it's just supposed to be an area for the tigers to roam um but i just feel like they should have allowed us to view our sims doing that i fully understand that the point of sims 4 for rent was not the tigers i completely completely get that However, in my opinion, if you like add this big feature into the game, you talk about it in all of your press releases, it's like in the world icon, you know, the, the neighborhood icon for Kosapa has a tiger on it. There's tiger lore throughout the world and there's no tigers. And there's literally no, not a single tiger in sight. So I feel like that is my argument. I feel like that they really are like, like, it's like going to Salvadorada and never being able to go see a temple, right? You you talk to the, all the locals about the temples and this culture and all of the lore behind the Omiskan gods and everything you can collect, and you can actually do it. But here you can't. And I understand, again, that's not the point of the pack, but to have that being such a central focus 
for it to just be a rabbit hole is so disappointing. And I know that there is the other temple in the other neighborhood, which I don't even go to in my Let's Play because it's, it's the same thing. And the cave, we went to the cave in my Let's Play. I don't think that video came out yet, but we do go to the cave and that's fun. But I wish we actually got to go to a cave. I wish that there was an end screen inside of a cave, an uneditable lot where you can just, where you're just inside a cave. Like it would just be those extra touches of detail. I need a drink. Those extra touches of detail would make Simmers so happy. And I know that there's a lot of other wildlife in Southeast Asian countries. I mean, like I watch Survivor and they primarily film in those countries. They filmed in the Philippines um, and in South Pacific for years. And currently they're in Fiji, which is like in the area. Um, and there's amazing wildlife there, amazing wildlife. They could have done so much with it. I'm not saying make a zoo, but like these vast rainforests and islands with the it's just, I don't know, it's just one more aspect. Like, you're giving us a pack with a feature, but you're also giving us a world. And so in order for the pack to be complete, the world has to feel complete. And I know that there's been a lot of other complaints with Tom Morong feeling empty and quiet at times. And it, it, it's all the same thing, you know, the tuk-tuks driving around, but there not being any people in their streets, like the night market being really dead. Something about Tom Morong feels empty and in my opinion the tiger sanctuary and the wildlife and the what could have been of all of that adds to the lacklusterness of tamarong so i don't know what you guys think about the tiger sanctuary i don't know if, how you all think that it could be better if you do think it could be better leave it in the comments down below and let me know what your ideas for it are but as far as mine i mean that's really it it's either you make your own and put a bunch of cats that are skinned like tigers uh like patterned like tigers in a in a in a house and you make your sim go to them and pet them and have fun and go to the park with them or whatever or the sims does what i said <laughs> you can go to a temple and you can view out at an open empty field with nothing there and potentially see a tiger it's like, it's like going to a zoo you know sometimes the groundhogs will be out sometimes they won't you know what i mean sometimes they're the the giant elephant you were waiting to see is going to be hiding behind a rock sometimes it won't you know it's just like it's just like that um and they would really only would have needed to do two or even one tiger skin like i'm not saying like 30 tigers just one or two you know uh, and it would have just made everything seem more personable like the the adopt a tiger thing would have seemed so much more cooler it's cool already i love that feature i think it's cute and i like that you get a plushie in return but it's so meaningless when you can't even see them so i don't know either they need to start doing that or those pop-ups that come up when you go to visit things like the tiger sanctuary you need to be more detailed with pictures of your sims or pictures of the tigers right now it's just like they're cute drawings but i wish that sims would like include a photo like this in those pictures so it's like oh my god my sim did that you know i don't know Ugh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I really want to hear about your thoughts and opinions on the Tiger Sanctuary and how you think it could have been or maybe it should have, shouldn't have been. I don't know. Maybe you guys don't care about this. And let me know what else you want to hear me talk about because I'm happy to talk about it. I want to do these videos often. These are like my little podcasts for the year. Like I just want to sit and chat about something about The Sims. So let me know what you want to hear me talk about because I want to do these weekly. So that's it for now, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like this big off, and I will see you guys all again next time. Goodbye.